Hello and welcome back, it's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Whirlpool. Now before I get on to today's puzzle, um, there's been almost like an absolute dearth of, well, total absence of approachable puzzles recently. So much so that I was actually having to put on my Patreon channel a, a fairly awkward one, a two-star difficulty rated puzzle. Um, on there rather than what I normally go for, which is something that's a little bit more approachable. Now, I say a little bit awkward, so it's two stars, but in the end, it ended up having probably one of the most elegant solution paths that I've ever come across. Now, thanks to the supporters of this channel, I do actually post things that are early access. So if you do sign up under the free tier, you don't necessarily have to fork out anything, um, you will get notified when it is accessible, and I highly encourage you to do so because it's probably up there in terms of one of the best puzzles I've actually featured and played this year. Uh, now, on to today's puzzle. So we've got Whirlpool, we've got a giant ship that's sailing across the oceans, and that there's a giant Whirlpool ahead. Somehow in the sky, but I guess you never know what's happening in the ocean. Things can get very strange out there. So, let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets. So, we have Whirlpool by Daniel Rockvin. We've featured quite a few puzzles from him on this channel now. I'd say quite a few, maybe like half a dozen. And they've all been absolutely stunning. And uh, you can see very much from the title what's going on here. We've got all of these blue lines that are circling the middle, very much like a Whirlpool would. And it's even like got almost like ripples on the outside, so it's not even necessarily complete Whirlpools, just as you would expect in real life. Uh, speaking of rules, so normal Sudoku rules apply, that means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. That's a 3x3 three three box, not what I drew earlier. Second, we've got the minimum. So cells with this constraint are smaller than all orthogonally adjacent cells without this constraint. So I'm assuming that refers to this cell up here, which seems to be the only one that's got anything different other than just thermos, which we'll get onto in a second. And you can see it has that greater than symbol, implying that these two cells that are orthogonally adjacent must be larger than whatever is contained in here. Lastly, we've got slow thermometers. So digits on a slow thermo increase from the bulb to the tip, or stay the same, but they never decrease. So for example, I could do something like 2, 3, and I could be slow, that could go 3 again, what I can't do is go back down again and decrease. So this would be a valid setup. This wouldn't be a valid setup. So only thing left to say is, well, certainly wish you smooth sailing, because if you want to give this puzzle a go, I'm sure you're going to need it. Link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So in particular, I'm very tempted by this outer slow thermo. That just looks, if I go for minimums for a second, that, even that feels tight. Is that even going to work? Yep. It works just. So that's forced. And it's not even 30 seconds. And we've got tons of digits. So... That's a good puzzle for a Monday. The inner circle doesn't seem to be as constrained, but we do have a lot more digits around us. So maybe let's just see what that looks like. So one, two, two. Yeah, and it's forced because of these two nines. So that's the minimum. And in fact, the maximum, that's another one. That's another set of digits. In under a minute, we've covered a huge portion of this particular grid. I'm sure it's about to get tougher in a second. Otherwise, that would be more of a gas puzzle. Let's see what else can we do. So some of these thermometers are fairly long, such as these ones. So I'm, I'm tempted to have a look at these, then probably do a bit of classic Sudoku, and then we'll come back to Or In fact, actually, how about classic Sudoku? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. These are 6, 7, 9. Uh, clearly that is not the 9, clearly that is not the 6. 6, 7, 9 here is fine as well. In here I have 1, 2, 3.
I, so the odd thing is that this can be a one. I could do one, one. That would be fine. So that can be one. What it can't be is a three because it is increasing. And this is one, two, three. Plays with your head for sure, this particular rule set. This is four, five, nine. And again, that doesn't mean anything. That can actually be a nine because I could just repeat it across this thermometer. This one, however, even if I go for one, one, to, yeah, this could even be as low as 4 or as high as 9. This is not proving necessarily fruitful, by the way. So we've got 189 in here. That time is definitely not a 1 because 1, that has to increase, and it's not 1, 2, or 3. So that's not 1. That is not a 9. That is not a 1. Did I do this right? Yeah, that's not a 1. That is not a 1. That's the 1. That's, that's the only place left for it. Okay. Right, maybe these thermometers, or well, this one doesn't even look that promising, but we'll give it a go anyway. Because you see, there's so many numbers that are seeing the cell. So this could be one, but not two, three, four, five. Um, not seven, it could be six. And it can't be nine. I, well, I could. it could be eight. Because I could do eight, nine, nine. That would actually work. This is not one, two, or three. This is a minimum of four. It's not five, six, or seven. And it's not eight, but it can be a nine. Um, now, because this is a minimum of four, and I can't be four, five, six, or seven, eight, nine here does actually work. Right. That's not as helpful as I was, as I was hoping. Sevens. No, I've already played seven in this box. What am I doing? Um, let's think about this one next. So this is not one. It can be two. This would have to be three. This cannot be four or five, but it could be six. And it's not seven. It could be up to eight or nine. Yeah, I, this is not as helpful as I was hoping. Um, maybe a bit more Sudoku, maybe. Probably fives, for example, can only be in one of two cells. Surely it's a bit more restricted than what I'm seeing here. This is four. This can be four again, unfortunately. It's not five. It could be six, seven, not eight, but it can be nine as well. And yeah, we can still have nine, nine. I'm going to have to keep going with classic Sudoku because it's proving quite tricky otherwise. So 6, 7, and 9 are not here. 9 is definitely in one of these two cells because 9 is not there. It's not in any of these cells. It's not 9 and then jumping onto 1, 2. That's a 9. So yeah, there's still more classic Sudoku to be done. This is as low as 6. This could be one, two, not three, four, five, not six, seven, eight, or nine. Goodness, it is just one, two. The rest of this, so we've done the seven, eight, nine. That's not proving helpful. One, two, and three, they're all not here. The third one, two, three could be in quite a few places, actually. No, this is not the route. This is not one eight or nine, but I've already placed the eight and then the nine could be in a lot of places. Not this cell, but it can be here. Right, what is the minimum this can be? It's a four, it's not one, two or three or five. Uh, this is not one, two or three, four or five. This is a minimum of six, but then again, tons of options, tons and tons of options, not four, not, f well, four, but not five. Six, seven, and eight all work. Not eight, excuse me. How about nines? Nine is in one of two cells, and it cannot be here, because I can't do a double nine. Right, that's a nine, that's a nine, that's an eight. That's helpful. Uh, that is not a nine. 
less helpful, but I'll take it. Or I can figure out what something... So this is quite restricted because it's a maximum of two. And it's not a two, it is just one. And that's not a one. This is another six, eight. And it's not a six with the six, seven, nine. That's an eight. That's a... No, what did I fix? What did I break that? That's not a six. Doesn't necessarily help me with my one, two, three. So I've got one, two, and then seven, eight, nine. Now, eight and nine are not in these two cells. They are down here. That's not seven. This is also another eight, nine. None of these now could be nines. Seven's got to be somewhere in here. It's there. And this is another one, two. Nothing to disambiguate it, but this is progress. We have the seven has to be here. In fact, so does the six because this is six, seven. So that's the four. These are not fours. This is a six, seven pair. And then in here, I need another one, two, which is not on this cell, plus a five, which is not down here. That's not the five. No, hang on. That's I need more. I need four and five, and they're not there because of four, five, nine. So this is the one, two. Because of the thermal, this is force. This is four, five. And then I'm left with another one, two, and a three. And sadly, only thing I can say is that's not a one. Rest of it seems okay. Nothing else is forced. Looking across here, I need a four and another one, two. The one, two, three means that's not the one, two. This is a two. That's a one. That's a four. That one will give me quite a bit now. Say quite a bit. Yep, it will. Three and one. This is good. That one's already placed. Right, maybe the minimum now is actually sort of useful. So if you think along what we have in here, we need two, five, and six. Let me just, well, it's five and six, that's the two. That has to be smaller. So that's the five, that's the six. In here, I need a digit that is bigger than five, and it's not six, seven, or nine. It can only be an eight. And then I need three and four. That's the four, that's the three, because of this four. That seven actually does a bit more work. That's six seven pair that six gives me the answer that's six seven that two gives me another answer that two gives me the last answer that i need this is all done we may be able to yeah i was thinking we can probably start thinking about box five in a second i need to place or i need to figure out which one of these is five or nine how am i going to do that six seven six seven let's see Right, what do we have in these two cells? They're on a thermos, we know the order. The larger number is seven, so it's down here, plus a six, a six, I can type, that's seven, that's six. This is five, nine, looking at an eight and a nine. This is now, we need two more digits. One, that's the one. I'm gonna say eight, which forces this to be a nine, forces this to be a five. Box five will be a treat to finish in a bit. Uh, we need here a five, and to finish this box is a three, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Lovely puzzle as always, Mr. Rockvin. Thank you very much for the puzzle. Um, hopefully it's a nice, easy puzzle to start your week for a Monday, of course. Um, as usual, let me know in the comments how you get on and um, hope that you enjoyed it. We did have some slow thermals featured on this channel before, but I admit I've never really created a playlist for it. But we definitely have quite a few thermometers. So if you enjoyed this, stick around and check out the coming playlist. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.